Hello and welcome to the World's RV Show going on now at Motorhome Specialist, the number one volume selling motorhome dealership in the world. My name is Donnie O'Banion and today I'm being joined by Adam Gudger, who's the National Sales Manager and Chief Designer of Thor Motor Coaches Diesel Division. And today Adam's going to be taking us for a tour of his, his flagship model, the Tuscany. Adam, as always, thank you so much for taking the time to come down and, and talk to our future customers. Thanks, Sonny. We really appreciate being here. I'm really excited about the new 2015 model. Um, we have done some unbelievable things, especially I'm so excited to get inside because that's really where we really changed the game, I think, this year. Uh, but we've also really done a lot with floor plans, and that was really our emphasis uh, on this model year. Not only the 45 AT, which is a brand new one, I, it was my pick for, for this particular walk around, but um, you know we have two 40 footers. We have a, a rear bath 40 that's awesome, a new open concept 40 KQ uh, we just debuted and, and has been really doing well out there in the marketplace. Kind of like that uh, fifth wheel take on floor plans where it kind of opens up the living area with now, the, is that the, one with the with galley. The galley? Yes, yeah, it's, okay. it's got a really cool galley that wraps around in it, and really nothing anybody else offer in the industry we have a uh, we liked it so much we even did a, a bath and a half version that's a 42 footer called the 42 hq same idea where you know in, in residential homes of today you know that kitchen being a part of your living room is becoming more and more of a theme and so we actually can do that in a motorhome just nobody had really ever tried it before so matt grubaugh my engineer and i we worked on that one really gives you just a just an inviting type of feel, very entertain-esque. It's got a wine cooler in it, so a pretty neat deal. And then, and then another one that's another very exciting floor plan is a 44MT, um, where we really emphasize the living space. Right. You know, a lot of these bigger ones, you know, the rear bathroom is a big deal and master suite and that sort of thing. But what we did in the 44MT is we actually invested more in the living space. 482 square feet inside. So, you know, it, it's funny because, you know, you think, oh, how do we get bigger? Well, with these full wall slides and, and these opposing slides, we've, we've really been able to come up with some, some creative ways to just make for more living area. And where do you spend most of your time in your motorhome? So um, it's got opposing seating, it's got some different furniture arrangements. And then right. obviously, last but not least, the 45 AT, where we took a 45 LT and we said, okay, what are we hearing from customers? you know, what are the things that we can improve upon uh, to make this floor plan even better? And so we actually took an existing successful selling 45 LT and just made it that much better. Bigger shower, bigger galley, easier to walk through when the slides are in, which is something that a lot of our manufacturing friends have failed to, to recognize as being important. Um, made it where there's other dinette availability where before we didn't have a booth. So, you know, just a lot of different things that have really just, I think, completely changed the way that we're attacking this market uh, with better products that is just gonna be more livable, more functional, right. and then, as you will see, really I think the best looking motorhome in the market in this particular price category, which is just awesome. That's gorgeous. There's, there's absolutely no doubt. And, and as you said, I mean, your living space and your galleys and kitchens in particular uh, are incredible for this year's lineup. Uh, it's just so many neat features. The uh, several floor plans with those huge, you know, 60 inch pop-up televisions uh, to where, you know, when they're, when they're down, you still have that whole open concept feel. And then, of course, at nighttime or whatever, you know, the case may be when you bring those TVs up. I mean, it just creates, you know, a theater type atmosphere, you yeah, know, when you want to in a coach. So many cool things that you're doing that, you know, truly unique to the industry right now. Yeah, we wanted to have the biggest TV and, and then we figured out a way to put it in this floor plan and then we figured out a way to put it in two more floor plans. So, you know, why not? Right. I mean, people right. like to have and it's a smart TV as well, which is cool. So, um. I know there's so many different things with, the, with from a floor plan standpoint, but a lot of the things that you're going to be showing us today, you know, in regards to, you know, the chassis and, of course, how the coach is built and a lot of the amenities uh, and features on these coaches are going to be pretty much the, the same throughout your, your model lines, correct? Absolutely. I mean, when it comes to electronics, chassis, uh, the cabinetry, you know, all the, the structural stuff, I mean, everything will be consistent. Essentially, the floor plans you know, whether it be somebody wants something shorter or longer, you know, they want to have a bigger living room, they want to have a bigger bath area. You know, we're just really trying to accommodate the different needs of the different customers. And so, yeah, I mean, the floor plans uh, will be the only difference. The, uh, the features and amenities are going to be consistent throughout the lineup. A perfect example of our level of consistency is on the chassis side, because we use Freightliner chassis 
you know, on obviously all the Tuscanys, we use the exact same chassis on a 40 footer that we would on a 45. There's many competitors where you maybe have a 400 or 380 on the shorter ones and then they put the big horsepower, the bigger torque on the longer models. Right. We do a 450 horsepower Freightliner chassis all the way across the board. Um, really the only difference you can have between a 40 and, a, and, and, and the tags is gonna be, we put a, a two stage Jacobs brake on and it's got a 15,000 pound hitch, but everything else spec wise is gonna be identical um, between a 40 and, and any of the tag models which start with our 42. Right, so just obviously the tag axle itself and to reiterate, you said a two stage Jake brake on the 45s. Correct, and the 42s, right? But they're all gonna have the 1,250 foot pounds of torque. They got the big boy for the engine. Yep, they're they have the that, 50. and then you know when you add to it additionally, you know we put adjustable foot pedals, VIP smart wheel. Um, probably the biggest thing um, is the fact that we're running our ZF independent front suspension. Um, we're the only company in the industry to offer independent front suspension in this category. You're going to spend upwards of fifty thousand dollars for that feature, and you know when you're looking at a diesel motorhome, the first and foremost thing that you want is the best possible ride you can out there. And there's no question, without a doubt, that a ZF front end is going outperform any straight axle on the market. Um, we invest a lot of money to do it. It's going to give you a better ride, smoother, less body roll and sway. And then the great thing about it too is that obviously when we're talking about Tuscany, the smallest thing we build is a 40 footer, but we build them up to 45 feet. Well, guess what? Some of these parks, you can't get around in them, navigate right. with the trees and everything else. And right. they're hard enough to, you know, to, to get in, in a tight spaces. So what we do is we by putting an independent front suspension on are improving the wheel cut to 60 degrees versus 55, which is awesome. No, it, yes, absolutely. It's, it's unbelievable. The turning radius on our coach is 45 feet. And then of course, you know, just the longevity, you know, of the interior of the coach, what people don't think about is the better the ride and drive and the better the handling of the coach is, is going to determine how quiet the coach stays on the inside. Know, keeps the cabinets tight. It keeps the squeaks and rattles out of it. And you know, whenever when a coach is brand new, you know, all of them are a tight, quiet ride to a certain degree. But you know, it's the course of coach ownership five, six years down the road to where that's when you know your cabinets have not opened up or the seals on the inside of the uh, um, the solid surface countertops and things are not coming apart. It's it's a, a tremendous difference when you go look at five, six year old motorhomes that are equipped with the IFS and the ones that are not. Yeah, and the bottom line is we want people to use their motorhome, and you're going to get more excited to get in, bring the family in, you know, head out on the trip, drive further distances. You know, we just really want to promote the lifestyle, and I can tell you this is the best thing for it. Um, some other things just to highlight on the chassis that are a huge deal for us is we, we do invest in larger tires. We run 295 ADR tires all the way around on the coach. Many okay. competitors just put 295s on the front axle but not on the rear. Uh, they do that because of weight. We put 295 ADR tires all the way around. It's a three and a half inch wider tire than a 275, which larger tire, more rubber on the road equals a better ride. Um, and then we also upgrade to Michelin brand tires on this product as well. Right. More expensive tire, just a better tire, better riding tire. And then last year we, we added 150 gallon fuel tank. Um, a lot of these coaches only have 100 gallons, 150 gallon tank. Less time having to go in and out of service centers. I mean, you figure 50% more fuel, that's 50% more time having fun and less time having to do, deal with the hassle of having to refill the fuel tank. So, so that's a big feature for us. Um, and you know, obviously the 15,000 pound hitch that I mentioned on the bigger ones is also a huge deal because again, a lot of the manufacturers just run a, a 10,000 yeah, uh, hitch pull receiver a, on the back. They want to pull a stacker trailer or something like that. It's a, it's a big deal. You certainly got the engine to handle it. So it's a, it's, a, it's a great feature. Absolutely. And so then as we move along, um, you know, one of the things that we really focused on this year was making sure that we had exterior televisions available on every model. Uh, we did go to a 40 inch um, exterior television. It was 32 before. So oh, yeah, you know, obviously nice. a bigger TV makes sense. Um, and you'll never lose the outside TV, no matter what furniture arrangement you go with in terms of the dinette because it used to be we parked these behind the actual dinette table, so if a booth went in, you lose the outside TV, no longer the case, because this is actually behind the entertainment cabinet on the inside, so there's no effect on that. Very smart, so that's what you were talking about earlier, about having wider hallway areas when the slide rooms are in, to have more, uh, more walk space. So that, that was a huge part of that, I'm assuming, from yeah, an engineering absolutely. standpoint, of keeping that sofa and those dinettes further inward inside the coach and the slide rooms in. Absolutely. I also notice you're using uh, name brand electronics. 
you know, out, out here. I'm, I'm assuming that, are you running Sony throughout the coach or? Sony throughout the coach, other than our 60 inch TV. On the 60, we run a Vizio. Right. And that Vizio TV is also a smart television. So, you know, if you're in the parks where you have, you know, Wi Fi connection, you know, you, you want to get Netflix, because I know a lot of people don't bring their DVDs around with them anymore because everything is available through Netflix. And, right. you know, you can watch the stuff that's still in the theaters today or whatever. And, you know, internet and different things like that all can be run right through that 60 inch television. That's awesome. Really awesome. And being a 45 foot coach, I mean, all the big coaches have a lot of exterior storage, but yours are unbelievable. I don't know if it's because of the way that you're arranging your tanks or what, but I mean, it is just bay after bay after bay and all of them open concept. And I thought that this was such a cool addition. Um, you know, you recognizing the, you know, having this suicide style door on, uh, on this main uh, cargo area so you can get this huge uh, slide out cargo tray and just allow so much easier access to it without the without the, uh, the you know the door basically in your way so I thought that this was a great new addition as well yeah you know <laughs> with a 45 foot unit um, the idea is again being out on the road using the motor home more it's got 260 cubic feet of exterior storage on this unit and as you can see um, just a tremendous uh, slide tray this is the largest wow. slide tray offered in the industry today um, you know, we, we run this all electric, so there's no propane tank to get in the way. Um, we work with our mechanical engineers and freightliners to make sure we're organizing the space properly. And it's just very easy to get at. And another thing, too, is that when you're getting at these bays, everything in terms of the lock systems on the, on the doors is all actuated. It's all electric locks. So, you know, whether it be your key fob, you have an interior unlock and lock button, and then you also, through your, your keyless entry system, right. uh, not only can it work with the front door, but also works with the baggage door. So, you know, the, the, the biggest pain in the neck is, you know, when you're getting ready to close up for the night, having to go in individually with one key underneath the slides to lock every one. You hit one button and you lock everything, you're good to go and, and your security's there. No, what a what a huge feature benefit. And it really is, especially on a coach this size, that's a lot of bay doors. It's just nice, you're gonna run to the store real quick and just click a button and all the bay doors are locked. That's a tremendous feature, it really they're, is. They're all aluminum, they're insulated. I mean, even our interior of our bays is all pebbling fiberglass, so it's an insulated basement. And then because of the Aquat system, um, we actually designate a separate heat exchanger, not only in the storage compartment, but also in the wet bay. So if you're ever somewhere where it's cold and you have perishables down here that are affected by cold weather, you have the ability to keep this area warm, which is an unusual feature to have in a no, motorhome really such is. as so, this. So what you're saying is it's not just the tanks that are heated, you've actually heated the compartment if you wanted to, the entire... The whole, the whole, bay, the whole thing. Oh, so, that's awesome. Yeah, that the, is whole, a the whole pass-through storage area on this coach. And you know, Adam, I mean, uh, something that your designs are so well known for and I really like is how you use so many full wall slides in your product line. I mean, just to create those unbelievable living spaces on the inside. Uh, and there's a lot of other benefits even on the exterior of the coach as well. You know, when you Absolutely, Donnie. I mean, when you're buying a home, you're looking at square footage, you know, price per square foot and anything else. And so why not have the most square footage of anything in the industry? more space, more room, you're gonna spend more time, you're not gonna feel closed in. Um, also, when you're chopping a coach up with extra slide outs, it also costs you interior storage space. Um, I've never yet met a customer that told me, Adam, I have too much places <laughs> for all the things I didn't wanna bring along with me. It never yeah. happened. So, you know, we, we're trying to always push the envelope. Uh, this 45 AT has our longest slide. It's almost 29 feet long. And so absolutely, the first thing is the square footage, second thing storage, and then the third thing, it actually creates a better patio area because when you look, by having the full wall side on the curb side, it makes total sense because you can go as long as you want with your awning. This is a five meter awning. Um, it's such a large awning that Carefree actually had to develop a special third arm built within this, this armless awning to support it, which you know offers that benefit as well. It's got a motion sensor on it. And then new for this year, we've embedded LED lighting into the awning so when it's out, it actually provides some additional patio light for you. So cool. Uh, creates a little bit of a mood. Oh, looks uh, great. And then also in the front awning, we also did the same thing. So, you know, with LED lighting uh, progressing, uh, we've been able to incorporate more of that. Provides a, a cleaner look on the side of the coach because it has less lights actually just, you know, attached to it in different unusual shapes. Um, we, you know, we're all about cleaning and, you know, with the frameless windows that are dual pane that, that kind of blend in and not having all those additional, you know, things attached to the side of the motor bus home. Style, it, it gives you that real bus style look. That um, automotive look, absolutely. And, you know, to, to touch again on, on the awning, you know, being the full wall slide, 
your awnings are not attached to the coach, meaning your awning doesn't have to come out over your slide out room the way that it does in a traditional floor plan. So your awning is actually coming out with your slide out room so you don't lose any of that actual shaded coverage that you would lose in a traditional coach without the full wall slide patio. It could be 32 inches is how much you could lose because that's how deep these slides can get. And then another huge thing about it, when you think about it, we want the slide to be as tall as it can possibly be. So that only leaves a little bit of room above the awning for it to come out. And guess what happens when it comes out over the awning, it comes out straight. Well, unfortunately, well, or fortunately, or just reality is the fact that, you know, the sun isn't at high noon all the time. It's all over the place. So if you want any kind of shade, um, you need to have some pitch with the awning. Uh, by not having something that we have to clear in a slide box, we can adjust that pitch as much as we want. And then the other great benefit is, another thing about awnings is you want to stay dry when you're outside. If it's just a trickle, I'm from Eugene, Oregon, and it rains, you know, constantly all year long. <laughs> right. Just ask my wife. That's why we moved to Indiana. And, uh, you know, the nice thing is, is that the water will actually run off. If it's coming out straight, it'll pool, and then it'll end up tearing your awning down, or you just won't be able to keep it out right. in the rain, which, what's the whole point of having an awning if you can't keep it out in the rain, right? No kidding. And, and then, be able and to run your TV and stuff, too, yep, you know, in those type of situations. Absolutely. Being able to keep the glare off the TV, because with a lot of times, when you have an exterior entertainment center on, you know, pretty much a high-end coach in this, in this price point, you're going to expect to see an exterior entertainment center, but yours is actually viewable and in, in the daytime and so many other situations that, you know, with that awning that goes straight out, like you said, if the sun's going into the TV, there's nothing dynamic enough that's going to, you know, out, uh, outshine the sun. So, you know, it allows you to watch those games during the daytime, the 12 o'clock, the 3 o'clock game, that kind of stuff that you can't do in other, in other coaches. Absolutely. And then one last thing, and, you know, I almost forgot to mention it, but, you know, in addition to putting, you know, the window awnings on, which, you know, we have standard on every coach, we've also added these metal covers to all the toppers. And, you know, when you're going, again, 29 feet, how nice is it to have the additional tension, the protection that you have? So all your slide outs now, you know, whether it be the three or the four slide out models that we have um, on the Tuscany, they all have this nice metal cover uh, to protect it uh, when it's traveling down the road. There isn't any way for wind to get underneath it or whatever. Sure. You know, if you hit a branch, you know, yeah. you're not going to get it damaged. So it's just another way. And it, and it, it blends in nicely because, you know, it's a black color and it, it really blends in nicely with the rest of the awning package we have on the motorhome. It does. Now, while we're, while we're touching on that, you know, as far as the build itself, you know, on the coach, you know, we talked about the chassis. Uh, we've talked about some of the feature benefits, but the build of the Tuscany itself, you know, the, the sidewalls, you know, could you tell us a little bit about the construction? you know, of the, uh, of the Tuscany as far as the sidewalls, your, your basement construction, some of the things that you're doing different from, uh, um, you know, from your roofing materials, th those types of things. I'm really glad you asked because that's one of the things that we probably haven't done a, a better, we could do a better job of really explaining because it's probably the best design that is out there in the industry right now. Uh, first and foremost, we vacuum bond every part of the structure of this coach. So, you know, it starts with the chassis. We have Moride who we who has who comes in and they build our bridge structure. So, you know, it's an awesome foundation. All degreed engineers that work together to provide the most balance, the better your balance your chassis, um, the better. And then we have our own knowledge of our conversion, our house of the coach that we're implementing into that structure to make sure that that they all work, you know, harmoniously together. But then then it starts with you know your floor, which is a fully vacuum bonded floor, um, and that's probably of all the different parts between the the floor and the sidewalls and the roof because it's really hard to pick. Probably <laughs> our biggest advantage over our competition because there's so many manufacturers out there that are building their floors out of wood. Uh, one of my reps says that a particular manufacturer has more wood in it than Noah's Ark. Well, if you look closely, I mean, there's a lot of antiquated technology that that's going into some of these designs. The floor of the coach is what ties the rest of the house together. So we actually build our entire floor structure out of steel. It's one and a half inch steel with 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 two pound uh, block foam insulation. Um, we have a, a five eighths inch structure wood that's only got one seam in it because it comes in 25 foot sheets. And then where it even gets even better is after all those layers are vacuum bonded together and and and, and you know attached to the floor, we're putting a quarter inch hardy backer, a, a fiber cement board substrate down before we lay our tile down. It's funny, I was at the Kitchen and Bath show here a few months back and, and you're seeing all these new residential manufacturers putting a substrate down 
on the new homes that are being built today before they put their porcelain or their ceramics or their granites or the marbles or all the different stuff that's out there. And that's for a home that settles. This is a rolling earthquake moving down the road. Why wouldn't <laughs> right. everybody put a hardy back or Donnie down before they put their tile down? Because we want that tile to be cushioned and content. And again, with that steel, it's vacuum bond. And we go ahead and put that hardy backer down. We run full tile from the uh, front firewall on this coach all the way to the back. And it's all protected and it's vacuum bonded. And then when you go into the sidewalls, the sidewalls are all tubular aluminum, inch and a half tubular aluminum. Again, vacuum bonded with that two pound insulation in there. Um, you know, the, uh, the, the, obviously you got the fiberglass and, and then you're into your wallboard, all of it's vacuum bonded together. And then some of the unique things about it are the fact that when you're looking at these slide outs, above that side, there's a six inch aluminum header that runs the full length of it. You got also aluminum down below. And then there's cross member, in, in the actual sidewall itself. So it's not just perimeter and we're not relying on the vacuum bonding process for integrity. Every window is framed in, every door is framed in. Um, and we use up to quarter inch aluminum in some areas. And even in the front area of the coach where, where the A-pillars are around the windshield, those are all reinforced with steel, with steel across the front forehead of it. So it's all there. And then you mentioned earlier about cabinetry and rattle and loose. We believe it or not, we put galvanized steel plates in the sidewall that we anchor our cabinets to. So, you know, any of that movement over the course of time, we're actually anchoring in to electro galvanized steel so that everything is anchored in nice and tight on the motorhome. And then we, we finish the whole coach off with a roof that believe it or not is, is designed to tie into those sidewalls. A lot of companies will actually build their sidewalls and their floor and their roof independent. We build it as one entire unit. And actually the, the roof is actually designed to tie with the sidewalls and it's this large, we call it a birdcage construction because every 15 inches on center, you have inch or inch by inch and a half uh, tubular um, uh, rafters that run the full perimeter roof. There's no wood in terms of the structural integrity in the roof and it's fully vacuum bonded. And we reinforce steel straps across where all the, um, where all the air conditioners are. So it's just a very solid, um, well-built roof design and when it's all said and done the insulation factors keeping it, it warm in the in the winter or cool in the summertime right. it does all those things I mean if you go in any of our coaches you close the door uh, when you, you got the freeway on the outside you, you'll notice how much quieter it is because of all that insulation but right. you know structural integrity uh, well insulated um, the thing's gonna last you know you know hundreds of thousands of miles the way the way that we we you know, design the uh, the construction of it and it's visually noticeable. You know, when you look down the, the sides of your coach and you look how straight the sidewalls are, they don't have those typical waves and those that unforgivingness that, that uh, fiberglass tends to do. But because everything is vacuum bonded in the way that it is constructed, I mean, you look down the side of this coach, and I mean, it's just like glass. I mean, the, the paint job, the sidewalls, uh, you know, again, it's a visual, visibly noticeable difference uh, in your build. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're really proud of it. Um, so, and then as we, you know, look at the, at the side of the coach and you see that clean glass, it's a, it's a sickens paint. Um, you know, we're, we're actually putting more labor hours into our, our Tuscany than any other model um, where we're, we're actually doing more color sanding and buffing. Uh, we, what we call this is a full cut and buff um, on the whole overall motorhome. Uh, I think we, we invested an additional like $2,500 worth of labor into the coach uh, when we entered into 2014 because we, this is our flagship. You know, we want people turning their heads when this thing's driving by. <laughs> there's more clear coat on this coach than there's ever been before. I think we're up Definitely. to four coats of clear I was gonna on, say, on the you outside can't, of it now so you can see the depth. Yeah, um, you, can, you can't feel the paint line you, anymore you at all. You can't I mean, there's, at all. It, 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 it's, it's as nice a paint job as I think you're going to find out there, but you know, we are, you know, paying for it. Um, when, when we, when we, you know, we, we worked with our paint vendor, um, but they do just an awesome job for us. Really did. And the paint scheme, uh, absolutely unbelievable. Thank just you. such a beautiful coach this year, Adam. So here we are at the, the rear of the motor home. And again, you know, some things that sort of stand out to me, um, this 15,000 pound hitch receiver that we offer on our tag models. Right. Um, whether it be, you know, you want to put a motorcycle lift on the back because it's going to have a 1,500 pound tongue weight or you want the enclosed trailer, you're just having to pull a really big car. You're really going to have zero limitations when it comes to this model because, you know, it's got a two-stage jake brake. Um, it's got, you know, the... Uh, you know, three sets of brakes on it with a front disc brakes on, on the unit, but uh, really, really a nice setup. And then also you'll notice that we integrated the hitch into the cap. Right. Uh, you'll see a lot of these 
companies out there that are just running a, a steel you know L bracket off of the hitch itself. So you know everything is nice and clean uh, on the rear cap. You know nice Tuscany accent piece. Um, the ladder a again anchored into steel. So you know even for me. You know, I can get up here and there's, it's not going anywhere. It's safe. And, you know, with, with this coach, one thing I didn't mention before, but it's got a, a molded fiberglass roof on it. Not a Phylon roof. Uh, rolled fiberglass is very right. thin. It's got, it's composite. So it's going to have, you know, um, plastic mesh with the glass so that they can, you know, save money, uh, lighter weight, less expensive. Um, we're investing an additional 800 bucks to go molded fiberglass on here. So right. same thickness, density, uh, same materials as your front and rear caps you have on the roof itself. But you do need to go up once a year and, and check your seals to make sure that all that stuff stays good. So having a ladder comes in really handy. And then for some safety things, because we're really big into safety, Donnie, because again, you know, whether it be your grandkids are riding along with you or your wife of however many years, um, you know, we want to make sure everybody's safe. So, you know, just little things like adding the extra brake light in the center so people I, can see it. You know, a lot of companies will invest in only one tail light. We right. actually put two sets on each coach and their LED, which a lot of companies, again, will go with the lesser expensive lighting systems. It's up high, so it's above your tow vehicle, so you can see right. them very clearly. That's a big thing. You know, you know what's going on. And uh, for those of you that like to travel at night, uh, we did add additional docking lights, not only on the side of the coach, but also in the rear cap as well. So um, it's hard enough to park one of these things <laughs> during the daytime. Um, going nighttime, we want to make sure that it makes it easy. And so you'll see that, that there's the, uh, the LED lights are, that are mounted right with the, uh, the, the camera itself. And then you have your, 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 your side docking lights uh, going along with it. Um, so all, all again integrated into the rear cap uh, to keep it nice and clean. Absolutely, such a nice design. And the camera system itself, uh, this coach is equipped with a three camera monitoring system, correct? That's correct, yeah, we, we put the rear camera in, which you turn in reverse, it's gonna come on automatically, and then also integrated into each of the side cameras, or side mirrors, I should say, right. there's cameras as well. So, you know, turn, you know, blind spots are eliminated, um, it's amazing, you know, you think, oh, 45 feet, I'm, I'm not gonna really know my bearings. Because of the lights and the, and the cameras and everything, I mean, it's really Truly. such a simple, simple thing anymore. Truly, and something that I really like that y'all are doing as well is the camera systems have become, uh, with a lot of our customers, are using them uh, not only when they're driving, uh, because, you know, they're blinker activated, side view cameras, of course, the backup camera, I mean, there's so many, you know, the practical purpose of it. But once it's parked, once they're actually, you know, at the campground or they're staying there and it was 10 o'clock at night, they, you know, they went and met people throughout the day and all of a sudden somebody's knocking on their door, you know, in the middle of the night, your camera systems are actually infrared. So, you know, they're able to go up there and actually just push a button and see who's standing outside their door or look around their, you know, virtually the entire motorhome uh, through these three cameras from a security standpoint. Um, you know, it's just a really nice feature that uh, our customers have said that it's, uh, it's a really nice thing that they use, you know, not only when they're traveling. So. As we make it around to the roadside of the coach, a few new things that have happened. Uh, number one, battery location. Um, trying to make things more accessible. Um, as you can see, your house barriers are located very easily to get at. Um, you know, distilled water, regular battery maintenance. Um, don't have to use a flashlight in a funnel anymore because everything's very much out in front um, and easy to, to take care of. Um, also, power cord reels. Um, one of the toughest things in the world is to try to deal with a power cord reel in cold weather. I know, believe me, I live in Indiana, like I said, and um, I think it was like 45 below uh, this winter. These things get as hard and, and unpliable as, as you can You're imagine. Right. You're right. Um, we, we're investing in a Glenn Denning power cord reel, which is, is the leader in power cord design, and uh, very just simple um, in terms of being able to roll up properly. You're not, it's not gonna bind on you, and, and it's a reliable company, so you're not gonna have to worry about any motors failing. It's, uh, it's really, really a good system, and, and I think some of these other manufacturers fail to invest the right amount of money to put a good quality power cord reel on a coach. And then, uh, you know, your own design, you know, having the cord, um, you know, simply having that cut out instead of it being the, you know, the typical plastic hole you have to put the cord down through. This one, you know, you can just very easily put the cord reel in any position to close your door without, without crimping the 50 amp service cord. Absolutely. And then, you know, DEF location. Um, we were one of the first in the industry to relocate DEF. DEF was originally always located on the curb side of the coach. 
not realizing that in the trucking industry, um, DEF was going to be mounted on the roadside and semis. Um, you can actually now um, not only save money um, by getting the DEF um, at the truck stops, um, but you're not having to lug around these five gallon jugs of the blue liquid right, that you have right. to deal with. Uh, a DEF tank, typically you have to refill it about every 3,500 miles or so. So why not, when it's time to fill up that 150 gallon fuel tank, pull in, line up with the truckers, and then just pull it right off the pump and fill up the tank. If it's on the other side of the coach, you know, you're having your partner get out and block traffic so you can get around <laughs> the other way. Talk right. about a pain in the neck. Um, this really just makes it simple and, and easy to deal with. And with these new DEF tanks, you're getting better fuel economy. Um, you know, there's an indicator light on the dash, so you know when right. you need to fill it up. So there's really no hassle. And I think it's, you know, it's selling for like upwards of, you know, you know, three bucks a gallon or something. It's, it's very inexpensive fluid. I mean, it, it changes in range, but, but yeah, easy to access. We're only one of two manufacturers currently offering DEF on the roadside of the coach, uh, which I, you're not gonna realize how much of a benefit is until you actually get in that situation. Absolutely, and I really like how you not only have, you know, obviously, you, as you mentioned, the indicator on the inside, but uh, this is the first one I've seen that actually has the exterior DEF gauge on it. It does, yeah, just oh, here. simply so you're just really nice going feature. around and checking all, all your different things, and, and it's just an easy way to deal with it. Really nice. And then finally, coming over to this side, I mean, even a, a little light on the outside of the coach so that you can see what's going on, uh, but all of your, your water tank uh, um, accessibility is right here. We call it our wet bay. Um, right here, you can see there's a central water filter. Uh, we offer one of these on all of our Thor diesel models. Uh, right. So all that incoming water is going to actually touch a filter before it gets to any of the, the utilities and appliances. Um, the, uh, the, the, the dump station actually has the ability to pivot. Uh, so that when you get done dumping, you can actually turn it up so that you don't get that extra drip. Yep, right, that residual. Um, the, right. And uh, so very easy, you know, large uh, design. The, uh, the, the actual city water dump is a larger tube. Uh, you'll find some of these companies out there, they run these really small tubes. It takes right. you a, a couple days to, you know, dump all your water out when you're getting ready to leave. Um, but, uh, you know, winterizing is easy, uh, flushing the tanks is easy, you got a shower down here, additional light within the bay. So, Joe, just trying to make it as easy as possible to, to deal with the regular things that are going on with the vehicle. And the entire bay, again, is heated through the Aquad heating system. It this is. is actually a vented heat to There's protect your... There's a designated heat exchanger in this wet bay that's only purpose is to make sure your, your tanks and your lines aren't going to freeze. Um, the Tuscany, believe it or not, uh, for like, I think it's like the fourth year in a row, is the number one selling diesel model in Canada. Um, we really focus on construction and all the different things that we have to contend with because you know, one of our dealers is located in Edmonton. I mean, it gets cold in the winter. I mean, you have to plug your car in. So, you know, if you're out there and it's cold weather, right. you know, you want to make sure that obviously, you know, we're able to make sure this whole motorhome can function and there isn't going to be problems down the, down the road. Absolutely. Because regardless of where you live, you may decide you want to take an Alaska trip and that's when that's when I'm having a Tuscan. I mean, it's, you it's got just it. set up for it for sure. <laughs> you got it. And then you know another little thing, but you know dual fuel fills. Um, sure. You know, you know again you, your DEFs on the roadside, but you can fill up your your fuel tank from either side. You may get into a situation where you know you don't have a place to turn around. Uh, makes it so much easier sure. uh, where you're not having to contend with that. And then finally, um, you know one thing that goes unnoticed a lot of times, but um, I mentioned frameless windows. But we also put dual pane, uh, thermal pane windows in the front cab area of the coach as well. There's a number of companies um, that will limit uh, their dual pane windows to the living room and bedroom, but not the cab area. We want to make it, this coach as insulated as it can possibly be. There's, there's charged gas, argon gas between the, the dual panes, um, and it is a dual pane window up front. Um, just helps with keeping that air conditioning in or that warm air in when you're in colder weather and, and, and something that's a unique feature for, for our company. Absolutely. And besides the heating and cooling aspect, sitting in the driver's seat, it's just that much quieter as well, just from the ambient big noise difference. outside. Really it's a, a big, big difference. difference. And Adam, your new front cap is so cool. I mean, it's uh, got not only just from a, a, a look and styling standpoint, but you address some things that, you know, we've been talking about for, for a couple of years now, you know, with that power slide out generator now um, you know that uh, you know this large area as, as far as being able to to access the uh, the generator compartment itself being such a big fiberglass front end um, you know and then the styling is just incredible 
Well, you know, there's no reason why style and function can't go together. And, you know, the thing that I've always been a huge fan of is, is tall windshield. So you can see this has just a monster, very vertical um, in terms of the height of the glass. Right. Um, just easier to drive a motorhome, Donnie, when you have more visibility. I mean, it's just as sure. simple as that. And so we did that, but we plus really just focused on providing a lot of benefits and look in the areas that, that there is fiberglass. And, you know, the chrome accent, um, we have down this Tuscany uh, that, that actually lights up through the chrome. You can turn that off whether you're in the park at night. You want to let everybody know, you know, what <laughs> kind of so motorhome cool. that you have. Uh, you turn it on or off. You know, the extra LED lights up front so people can see you coming. Right. Um, you know, so, so a lot of things there um, that are really neat. Um, this windshield itself is more automotive now. We we actually bond this windshield to steel. Um, there's a steel firewall. Again, I mentioned before, but we reinforce the A pillars in steel, and then there's steel that actually comes across the front forehead as well. So so it's 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 mounted into steel, so it's it's not going anywhere, um, and it has you know just obviously a beautiful look. And then one thing that's really neat and uh, something that we're excited about for this year is is the generator. Um, oh we, yeah, we went. Yeah to a larger generator and you can see it actually just like a car you just pull it and it releases uh the front there and um we went to a 10,000 owning oh, nice. this year versus an eight and um with an with an with a 10,000 owning you actually service the generator from the side and not from underneath so it needs to come out so uh right here on the firewall we have the ability to uh to bring that generator all the way out and, uh, be, and be able to do any regular maintenance on it that's necessary. Really nice. And in addition to being a 10, uh, we, we capitalized on the advantages of a 10 because uh, when you go to a 10K Gen, you can make bigger air conditioners. And you know, let's face it, if you're in Arizona in the summertime, <laughs> it right. gets hot. I don't care if it's a 40 footer or a 45, we're putting three 15 BTU air conditioners on the coach and they're the lower profile ones now because this generator can support it. Um, we'll have the coolest, most comfortable coach in the world because we're going to have more air conditioning than anybody else has got. And whether it be a 40 or a 45, three 15 B2 airs. That is awesome, Adam. That, cause, and a 40 foot, that's, that's really unheard of. They, I mean, that's some, just... some will offer it as an option, but why would you option air conditioning? I mean, talk about the most uncomfortable thing in the world is to be too hot. And so, you know, we're going to manage that right, right away and, and deal with it. And, you know, a big, big improvement on the coach for this model year. Absolutely. And then, you know, the styling points, I mean, this, like you said, this whole automotive look and feel here with the chrome headlamps, uh, the chrome side view uh, mirrors, you know, with the integrated cameras, you know, instead of them being painted black or, you know, having the black arms and just a chrome, you know, uh, uh, head top, on it. Yeah, yeah, head on it. So, you know, just did a beautiful job, you know, protecting the, the investment further, it's the Invisa Shield on the front, you know, to make sure it stays looking good. Uh, just a lot of different things you did at the front end this year, just all great improvements. Well, thank you. Yeah, and then, you know, as you work your way to the front before we get inside, which I know everybody's excited to get inside <laughs> the coach, and I apologize for being so long-winded, but there's just so much to talk about. But a nice, large entryway, uh, 32 and a half inches wide. Um, you can also see um, with the keyless entry system, uh, very easy, again, to be able to unlock and lock uh, the door so you have to bring your keys along with you. Nice open space to get in and out of the motorhomes. So well, hey, listen, why don't we take a look at the inside? You know, everybody's waiting. Why don't we put the slides out and get a look, uh, good look at the interior? Sounds great. Let's go. God, this new wood, Adam, is unbelievable. It is absolutely beautiful. You kept telling me about it, but it's, it's unlike anything in the industry. Well, you know, it's amazing. I mean, with, with a motorhome, there's a lot of different things you can do, but if you really want to change the game, it's all about cabinets. Because, I mean, the bottom line is, is that there's different degrees of luxury, and we are very fortunate with Thor because we're located in Elkhart, uh, just in nearby Napanee, Indiana. We have a 100% Amish cabinet company that we were able to, to get with, and you know, I had some ideas and, and we got together. And so now all the cabinets built in the Tuscany are 100% Amish Sawyers, uh, just, just there locally to do all the work for us. And, and where we started was I wanted to see a higher gloss. When you look at right. new homes of today, higher end homes, 
that that level of of of, of sheen um, on the cabinets is is a lot more than what we were offering. So we went to them and we put 90 millimeters down of this lacquer on these cabinets, and you'll notice it, they really jump at you now. And we actually oh, have two wow. different colors. We have the Milan cherry, but then we also have a more of a medium color and and what we call resort cherry. So uh, really a nice complement to each other. If you like dark cabinets, you can get away with it now in a motorhome because we are right. using all LED lighting. So you know that really makes a difference. And and so if you you know this is the probably the most popular color you're going to find in homes of today. So now we're able to incorporate that in the motorhomes, which we weren't able to do before. Um, another thing we've done is we've glazed everything. Last year, all we did was we glazed the cabinet doors themselves. Now you'll find that there's glazing on your, your window treatments. We have a Wayne's coating, um, all of your, your, your slide out fascias, even any of the, the, the little areas of trim or whatnot, everything has the glazing on it. So it really accentuates all of the design that's in the cabinets and really Absolutely. makes that jump out at you. Um, and another thing that we ran into, which was of a benefit, um, is the fact that you know, we realized we couldn't use any more paper walls for any of the wood in the coach. So we had to go strictly veneer all the way through the coach. I mean, you'll find half a million dollar motorhomes of today where they're still using, you know, false panel. Nothing like that in this motorhome. On all the face frames, it's all veneer, all real wood, um, which really just stepped up our game. You know, we've added additional accent, you know, f feet on, on the uh, the fireplace you see oh, yeah. to give it that added it's like a beautiful dimension piece of furniture at that um, point. you know the like i mentioned the wayne's coating before even your even your pocket doors with the new design um that's all glazed and 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 it just makes a huge difference um you know the refrigerators and certain floor plans we're able to put you know additional crown molding on them so um just spent a lot of time and money um just to create a better looking motorhome i mean even the way that we're putting the motor motorhome together now you know we've gone away from staples everything's done with these very finite finishing nails we're gluing uh with you know really strong adhesives so um you're not going to see any marred cabinets anymore you're not going to see putty and those types of things because you right. can't do that with a high gloss so it was funny yeah. because the way that we went with our manufacturing it forced us to learn how to build these coaches better um, and ultimately our finish our fit and finish on the coaches just became that much better than it's ever been before so yeah a big difference I, I believe we have the best cabinets in the business now and obviously we don't have the highest price so uh, the two work very well hand in hand <laughs> um, you know some other things we added interior wise that I think really you know stepped us up as you'll notice um, with our furniture um, you know we've gone to some different colors and we only had light leather before now we have a, a light we have a medium a dark you know we still have the added you know piping and the different colors Colors, but you know we're going to be able to appeal to different people because not everybody likes light leather. Maybe somebody somebody wants the darker colors. Uh, the furniture itself has gotten larger. Um, you know this is a hundred inch L sofa. We've we've tried to accommodate you know queen size beds and everything. Sure. Um, you know so not only just the way that it looks, but you know just making stuff more functional with the with the bigger sleeping surfaces. Um, uh, jumping back to cabinets, and I know I jumped jumped around a little bit, but um, also we've we've really focused. Not only on making them look good, but again, more functional. Um, you'll notice, Donnie, I could fit inside this overhead. I mean, look at this overhead. I mean, it's just it's it's the height so of deep. it, the depth of it. You know, we looked at both areas all throughout all the different floor plans. You know, this happened to be a 45 LT, LT but you know, we really challenged the engineers in the bedrooms, in the living areas. You know, where can we we carve out more space? And so, you know, this is a perfect example uh, of how we're able to do it. You know, the the galley. Um, you know, more depth with the galleys. You know, pull out galley extensions. Um, you know, two tiers on, on the on the galley right. itself. So right. so all the furniture, you know, is, is becoming multifaceted now for us so that, you know, we can just, you know, you're not sacrificing anything anymore when you pick a particular floor plan because we understand it's got to look good, but it's also got to, you know, be able to accommodate your pots and pans and your dishes and everything else. And, and, and we just continue to elevate our game and, and really look critically at ourselves and trying to figure out, you know, what is it that we're doing that we could improve upon and, and, and we're not just accepting, you know, where we're at today. Well, I mean, aesthetically, uh, just uh, an unbelievable improvement. I mean, you got a gorgeous coach last year, but I mean, it's truly like walking into an all new product with the, with the darker leathers that are now available. You know, again, uh, the cabinets are just over the top and then, you know, just so many different things, you know, everybody wants to talk about, you know, residential feel, residential quality, you hear it all the time but it's really not ever pulled off. And I mean, and in this coach, I mean, when you walk inside, it truly has a luxury residential feel to it. 
you know, from, like you said, I mean, just little things here with the fireplace, um, you know, I mean, it's finished. It, it looks as if, you know, as a true piece of furniture, you know, in a home, uh, gorgeous solid surface countertops throughout, you know, so even with the dark cabinets and ordering it with the dark leather, um, there's so much, um, you know, uh, lightness in the floors, uh, your, uh, tile, uh, carpet, uh, kind of designs that you lay out. And then the lighter Corian, there's so much of it inside here. It just opens up the space. Um, and like I said, I mean, with the additional woods, I mean, you still have the light leathers now medium leather, which is uh, so popular as well. It's going to be an, an incredible year. And I mean, it's truly just something you've got to see in this product now. Absolutely. You just, again, just trying to really strive on being more residential and, you know, moving along to some other things, you know, obviously we, we talked about the TVs before, but you know, you have a nice main television in the coach. Um, we knew that the largest one in a motorhome was 55. Uh, so why not go 60? Uh, Vizio, um, which happens to be one of the, you know, the top sellers out there. We're always looking at consumer reports and figuring out which ones get the really good ratings. You know, right. Vizio happens to be a company that, you know, American made, um, and you know, just, they offer, you know, really, really good quality products for not a million dollars. And, and, you know, again, the, the, the ability to, you know, access the internet, um, on that, um, you know, this TV, not only with a, with an excellent 1080, uh, P, you know, high definition picture, you know, we're incorporating other components with this television to make it uh, a better, you know, viewing experience. You know, it's got a 5.1 Dolby surround sound home theater system in it. Uh, the, the uh, home theater system has Blu-ray, uh, capabilities so you can play regular DVDs or you can play the, the Blu-ray DVDs. Um, you know, the system itself has, has Wi-Fi built into it. So, um, you know, you can, you can incorporate that. The, uh, the switch box. So now wait a second, wait a second. I got to stop you for just a second. So we're not running a sound bar anymore. You've no, actually no, put in the true 5.1. Fully, fully 5.1 Dolby surround sounds got a subwoofer. So glad to hear you said that. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you're going to have this big difference. TV and, and sit down and be comfortable, watch the movies, watch the big game, you know, you're going to be able to do all of that. Um, you know, the satellite system, um, you know, we put a, a true high definition Weingard Traveler satellite system on the coach. You know, a lot of people don't realize that there's different levels of satellites you can offer. Why not put the best one on? Because we're investing in the television, we're investing in all the components, you know, we're investing in the wiring, going all HDMI wiring rather than component cabling. So um, we're doing all the right things. Um, because you know this is a luxury motorhome, so why not have luxury uh, entertainment experience while you're within it? Absolutely, absolutely. And you know to have you know to have you know this huge L-shaped sofa, this entertainment center, uh, uh, one of the largest kitchens I've seen in in any coach and any floor plan from any manufacturer. Then still able to pull off this enormous dinette and still have a space to put a computer desk in. Absolutely, I mean, and, and another thing that we've done, and I mentioned briefly before, but before in the LT, uh, all we had was this large buffet cabinet that was available. And and yes, you know you can pull out the, the, the table and, it, and you can seat four. We actually upgraded the dinette chairs as well to make them more comfortable, but this whole unit can be changed out for a booth dinette as well. And that booth dinette's sleepable. So, you know, if you have, you know, the grandkids or, or kids coming with you, um, you know, obviously you know, maybe a full grown adore on the booth might not be a, the most comfortable thing, but you know, you have the queen bed up front with the air bed on it uh, right. for them. And then, you know, the kids can sleep on, on the booth I net it. It's got seat belts in it, you know, which, you know, another thing, you know, always trying to accommodate more people, you know, this sure. has got some seat belts, but then also if you go with the booth, you even add additional seat belts to the coach because safety is, is one of our top priorities and, and, and we do that as well. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just an awesome living space. And, and, you know, even no this, question. you know, where the, where the Euro recliner is, you got a nice, you know, pull out, uh, laptop tray as well. So you know, you're sitting there, you're getting comfortable. Um, you know, everything is right there and, 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 you know, at, at an arm's length. So, and um, because of your full wall slides, you know, again, that space right there is typically fiberglass or cause you're going to be dealing with two slides and that's the type of space that you gain is, you know, a whole nother Euro recliner and a desk you know, feature in this coach that otherwise you wouldn't be able to pull off without a full wall. Absolutely. I'd like to show you a little bit about the galley. So why don't we take a step over there and I can highlight some of the new features on that. And I know you're quite the chef. So, you know, one thing, <laughs> not, 
<laughs> that's oh, me right. anyway but the, uh, the the galleys you know whether it be you know the HQ with the wraparound style or this massive uh, galley that we're offering the 45 AT really have something for everybody but, you know the, the key is we want to make sure there's lots of countertop space lots of storage you know lots of features so I mean here you got an induction cooktop you know boil water in 90 right. seconds um, you know very very uh, you know clean and efficient um, you know the dishwashers being standard on every coach um, you know every single floor plan we offer we design these galleys where you still get drawer space but right. yet we we don't have to worry about having to wash the dishes uh, manually I mean how deep the island look at that drawer yeah I mean there you're never ever gonna have to worry about finding room for everything in your motorhome because we really focus hard on on making it the best we possibly can I mean even outlets I mean how many coaches have you gone in where you know the the cords are draping down from the bottom of the overhead and and everything else so you actually design the second tier so you have a place to you know put things away and out of your way while you're working and then your outlets are built right into to the the to the LG HiMax solid surface that, that we're incorporating throughout the coach. So just a just a much, much better galley, much more depth, um, just much more overall usable space. And I think it's just better looking overall than it's ever been before. Um, and, and and so, you know, it's just, it's ergonomic and, and, and efficient and, and in a wonderful way. And, and this pullout galley extension is awesome too, because, you know, we really try to make sure that our coaches are usable both with the slides out and slides in. One of the things that we had heard from our customers on the 45 LT is, you know, right around that galley area, it was really a tight hallway and, you know, getting into the bathroom and getting back to the bed. Right. Any one of our motorhomes, Donnie, whether it be a Palazzo, an XD, or a Tuscany, you can get all the way to the bed, you can get to the bathroom, get to the refrigerator without, you know, having to worry about anything. Industry code's only 13 inches uh, when it comes to floor to ceiling room to get through. There's a lot of people, including myself, that can't get through 13 inches. So, you know, we work really diligently on making sure we understand exactly what kind of walk spaces are available. Right. I encourage everybody before they buy a coach to really see what that coach is like, both slides in and out. Because you, know, you can be heading down the road, get tired, you can pull over to Walmart. They don't let your, you slide your slide outs out. So you want to make sure that this coach is going to be usable slides in, slides out. Every one of our designs that way from our 40 to our 45 footer. And one last thing before we head over, and you know, obviously half bath, because you know, we, we do build a lot of bath and a half floor plans, and, and you have a nice size uh, half bathroom to go along with the rear bath for guests or whatnot, right. so you can reserve your master bath for yourself. But you also notice that a change we made in this particular floor plan, um, aside from what the LT was from last year, is we moved the washer dryer out of the bathroom. So what we did is we got with the engineers and figured out how to get the washer dryer into the hallway, we can mount it on the ground now, and as you can see, um, you can get right to uh, the, the dryer uh, very easily um, where it's not mounted way up at the top of the coach. And, and that all goes into design, but really just you know, getting the feedback from our customers and, and, and really trying to listen and understand because you know, those full-timers and those people out there using these coaches all the time, you know, little things like that can get lost in translation. So, you know, in addition to our, our really encouraging our own engineers and our own people that are within the plants to use their motorhomes and use some of our demos, you know, we're also just working really, really diligently with, with our customers that are out there where we can improve and, and perfect our design. Great, great point. Absolutely. Adam, you and your team really do a tremendous job. There's no question about that. Well, you know, so here back in the bedroom, I'm, again, just some new design stuff. Um, Ch Chase, who's the one who's the Amish company I had referred to before, they they actually are doing all of our pocket doors for us now. They uh, We had a different company doing it before, and I think really did a great job, very tasteful, all hardwood again. Um, you know, we, we really just are priding ourselves in just trying to create the best possible designs. Uh, even our engineers actually worked with Chase, and we actually came up with a better way to secure the door. So, you know, as you're traveling down the road, just the, the overall pulling them in and out, um, they're just going to hold up better and, and stay better in line. Um, we, 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 uh, we incorporated into the bedrooms, um, more storage. Um, as you can see, um, you know, you have the two tier design back here. So actually when the slides come together, believe it or not, the mattress actually, um, comes over this top area, but it allowed us to create more drawer depth underneath. 
Um, another floor plan in the HQ, we have a new uh, pull-out wardrobe. We're doing more with additional wardrobe hanging space. This particular floor plan has full wardrobe in the rear, and I will challenge anybody out there. We have the most hanging space of anybody in the business. And, and then just moving through, you know, Marine did a great job, our interior designer with the pictures, and uh, we've gone to this darker wallboard, which I think really sets everything off. Um, really, it makes a big difference. Um, king beds. King beds are standard equipment for us. Um, we don't even build a Tuscany with a, with a, with a queen um, in terms of the rear of the coach. That's going to be Smart. 12 inches wider. Uh, whether you need the space or not, it's going to be there. But one of the other things I always like to highlight too, Donnie, is the fact that we actually create space uh, between the mattress and um, the, the side uh, nightstands. A lot of the companies out there, they, they want to be able to advertise a king bed. But it really doesn't make sense because, you know, you, you can't even walk through. I mean, I can walk right. through here comfortably. I can get on and off the bed. <laughs> um, you know, you got your outlets here. You know, you might have a CPAP machine. You might just want to have a glass of water at your bedside. Um, you know, put a book there, whatever. Um, we're going to create enough space and making the bed. I mean, some of these, literally, you have to pull the mattress the entire way out just to be able to put a fitted sheet on. Not with ours. I mean, you got lots of room here, so it really makes it comfortable. You know, the extra windows, you know, we didn't talk about in the living room, but kitchen windows, side windows in the back, windows in the half bath. You wouldn't believe how many manufacturers leave windows out. Windows are a big deal. You know, you're, you're out in the mountains, you're out at the beach. You know, you want to be able to really enjoy your surroundings in an RV. And so we try to put as many windows in this darn thing as possible. It, it's awesome. And, and, and uh, you know, I noticed uh, you've got the uh, solar and uh, the night shades now instead of like the uh, day night shades. The roller roller style shades, yeah, yeah we're doing throughout. So um, it's really nice because, you know, they're cleaner. They don't have the strings like a, like a day night shade would have that can break. You know, you always see the older coaches where, you know, one side's hanging down, the other isn't. They don't get real dusty, uh, easy to clean. So, um, yeah, we're just we're going to the, the better systems, you know, that we've learned uh, over the years that just, just work a lot better. We've gone to ceiling fans, so your ventilation, you know, great 12-volt ceiling fan in here. So, um, you know, with two speeds on it. So it'll allow you to give you a nice amount of air uh, in the back of the coach. And, you know, as I mentioned before, three roof air conditioners. All three airs, by the way, have heat pumps on them, which is also a unique That's thing. There's a lot of manufacturers that, you know, they may only put a heat pump on a single air conditioner, but they don't do it throughout. Down about 43 degrees ambient temperature, you can heat the vehicle through the electricity and into the parks, you know, as we all know, that's free. So that's free. just a way to, to keep your camping expenses down a little bit. Um, so, yeah, so just a lot of really nice features back here in the bedroom. Truly, truly. And you know, one last thing, Adam, in the, in the bedroom is that y'all started using the Denver mattresses throughout the Thor Motor Coach line, correct? Absolutely. Yeah, we um, we got with Denver and they were very interested in getting with us. Uh, they wanted to break into the RV business, probably one of the fastest growing mattress companies in America, really just a, a quality product. And so, yeah, we just opted to go ahead and, and upgrade our mattresses and all the line. Well, it was nice because so many people spend this kind of money and the first thing they end up having to do is, is realize this bed's terrible and the first thing they're trying to do is get this giant mattress out of their coach and another one in. You got it. You got it. Nice. Nice to see y'all recognize it. Yeah. And then, you know, obviously, you know, going into the back of the coach, we don't have a real tall step up coming back here. And one of the big deals we did is we've really been emphasizing shower size. And so this is now a 39-inch radius shower, Donnie. Um, wow. You, you're not going to find a bigger shower out there in the business. Um, you know, we have this big shower that we've incorporated a lot of our new designs. Um, you know, the 42WX has a, a 30 by 42 inch shower. So um, really, really provides you a lot of, of comfort. And even the shower head inside. I mean, most people that go through the whole, you know, you know, you know, process and they don't even realize to look at the fixtures but we're using an oxygenic uh, shower head um, you know and then other things you know vacuum flush uh, nice. toilet here in the back uh, works works awesome it's a Tecma brand again you know you're talking brand names we do a lot there um, tons of storage um, you know lots of depth and then finally you know getting back into the into the rear wardrobes um, you know a cedar lined shoe compartment back here uh, you got a shelf above for for whatever you want to you know store back in the back you know, nice long, um, you know, close close hanging rod for for all of your all of your clothes, right. and then we even have a full height area as well right. uh, for dresses and, and and things like that. This um, is so important, and it never ceases to amaze me. I mean, you never leave a space in your coach. I mean, if there's any if there's a place to steal a square inch, you're gonna go get it because I mean, you've built in a, an underneath uh, drawer actually here inside the closet. Uh, you know, two more down below the closet. 
and you know still have another large cabinet just to the right of the uh, of the sink we've really Which challenged is. the engineers to just find every nook and cranny we possibly can and, and just provide absolutely every amount of space possible in, in this thing they really pull it off i mean when you think about i mean we're standing on top of a 450 horsepower engine you got to be six two and i mean still so much room back here in the master bath it's really really impressive well we have we have 85 inch tall ceilings anyway and so you know and then when you were able to really be smart about your your platform and how you're mounting the engine and and within the chassis and everything else we can do a better job and whether it be just getting around the other side of the bed where the engine's located in like a 40 kq or something that has a rear bath absolutely um if you're, if you're a taller you know person this is going to be a better motorhome for you it like i said it's really impressive from an engineering standpoint thank you the coach. thank you well, hey, uh, why don't we take a look at the cap i know i'd like to see uh you know learn a little bit more about uh, the drivability of the coach and some of the features that you're that you're going to have in the cab and i actually have a new dash i'd like to show off for you as well Awesome. Let's, Let's take a look. look. So as we make our way up to the front, you know, one thing I hadn't mentioned before, but in addition to the new colors and the styles and the lengths of the, the furniture, this is Villa International Furniture. So very high quality, very comfortable, you know, adjustable armrests on the front chairs as well. So, you know, good size here. This has got an in incorporated power footrest. And so, you know, whether it be, you know, turn forward and you're driving down the road or, or you're incorporating it as a part of your living space, um, they very easily swivel around and, and, and they're very comfortable and, you know, safe as well. So, um, you know, coming up here and looking up at some of the components above the, the cab chair, uh, a few items that really mean a, a whole lot to your overall enjoyment of the coach. 85% of the problems in a typical motorhome, and that'd be the industry, so you know Tiffin, Winnebago, Fleetwood, uh, Forest River, you name it, um, are electrically related. So we do some special things with our electrical components to make sure that everything works better. Um, the first and foremost is the fact that we're using a pure sine wave inverter on this coach. Uh, pure sine wave meaning that when you're converting that DC to AC power, so 12 volt to 110, um, you're going to be getting a, a pure signal, uh, clean energy um, in that transfer. So, you know, when we're talking about those brand name electronics like your Sony's and, and your Whirlpools and everything that goes along in here, you know, we want to make sure that all those appliances are, are, are really taken well care of. And, and how we do that is providing that clean transfer and energy. Um, you know, typical warranties on appliances and utilities is like two years. Well, we all know that it's after that two year period that that seems like when anything was to go wrong. It's usually the day after, um, in my experiences anyway. So what this is going to ensure is that all those, um, you know, expensive, you know, high quality uh, pieces of equipment are going to last longer because we're using a pure sine wave style of inverter. Another thing we've done is we've added auto generator start to all Thor products. So if you're ever out somewhere camping and you're not plugged in and you don't need your air conditioner and you have lights on, TVs, whatever, um, you never have to worry about running your battery down too low. Uh, you can set up on your inverter panel, uh, going through your auto gener generator start setting, the voltage that you want your generator to kick on so you never run your batteries down too low. You can also set it for time, you know, also set it for temperature. A lot of people don't realize that with this auto temp start feature, it's tied in with your thermostat. So whatever your thermostat's set for um, is when it's gonna turn on, but that can work for both hot and cold. So if you want the right. heat pumps to turn on or the air conditioners, it's all set up right through the system. And with the factory setting, we actually tie it in with the thermostat. Moving along to energy management. Um, another thing that we encounter in this in this industry and, and with, our, with our customers out camping is a lot of these campsites will advertise 50 amp service, but they don't really give you 50. And so what will happen is, is, is that you know, you'll have all this stuff going on in the coach. We're not familiar with how much the amp dry is. You know, you maybe open the refrigerator, somebody turns on a, a hair dryer, and all of a sudden you lose power in the vehicle. You maybe fried something where then you're gonna have to get it replaced. With this system, it's quite simple. What it does is it never allows you to use more energy than you have coming into it because it will literally shed or turn off an appliance if you're overloading the system. 
What what a great what a great feature on the coach, and we offer this both in the XD and the Tuscany. It's just a staple item that we have uh, on board. And then finally, new RV comfort uh, air conditioning systems. One thing that we we didn't highlight before, but um, you know we do use the Whisper Quiet air conditioning system in our coaches, where um, all the cool air drops down the center or the warm air if your heat pumps are on, and then all your returns there's actually additional returns, so we don't rely on that that AC unit uh, to return the air. And we actually have separate returns that we've relocated out to the outside of the coach where all that moist, uncirculating air has a tendency to get trapped. And we draw that back into the system and then drop the cool air back down the middle. The other great thing about it is that if you have people you know, in the coach, we mentioned all those seat belts, when the slides are in, your cool air drops in the center, not on the outside. There's there's other companies right. out there that actually where the cold air drops on the outside and it can be blocked by those slides being there, and so it doesn't do anything for you. So so really a, a neat neat idea there, and uh, you can see the extra LED light so it turns on when you open the door. Your Aquat Stitch is right here, so there's a lot to talk about and, and a lot of easy functions. Um, the slide outs, uh, all the controls are right up front here and easy to find. Uh, we do use hydraulic slides, by the way, um, with these full walls. So when you have these big, heavy slides, um, you know we're using hydraulic power to be able to drive them in and out. I only highlight that because, it's number one, it's a more expensive slide system to use, and number two, electric motors cannot deal with 29-foot slides, um, or at least you can try to make them work, but we don't try to do that. We always try to make sure that we have ample uh, uh, systems to be able to handle. And sometimes it's overkill for us, but we'd rather your slides work all the time. And so that's why we're investing the type of technology into our coaches to ensure that's gonna, that, that it's going to be reliable right. and durable and, and you know last for, the, last for the life of the co uh, coach when you're out there camping. You never have to worry about your slides working properly. Again, a benefit of doing business with the old motor coach. Absolutely. And then as we move along to the uh, to the cockpit area, um, really a focus on ergonomics is where it's all out. And you know, you you, you swing your way around, and and uh, you can see first first and foremost, we've changed our dash color. We had a black dash before. It's really a part of the whole living space in a motorhome. So we wanted to make sure that it really blended in uh, with with the rest of our colors and our design. Um, we've also gone to this really, um, well, I think, elegant uh, burl inlay. Um, that really matches up really nicely with, with the overall design. And then a final change we made up front that kind of goes unnoticed but really means a whole lot is the fact that we've raised the mullion on the window. It used to be that the mullion was four inches lower, so when you looked, um, your, right at your eye line uh, was where that cross member was. So we've really just made it much more comfortable for for, for anyone that's up here in the driver's area of the coach. You know, as I, as I mentioned before, you know, vertical height means a lot because we want to be able to make sure that we can get you positioned as far up in the coach. You wouldn't believe how many of these coaches where that, that cab chair is, is set so far back. Um, not only does it sacrifice additional square footage into your living area, but it also makes it harder to drive because the closer you're going to be seated up into the firewall, you know, the, the much easier it is going to be managed as you're driving down the road. And then, you know, with this dash, it's been designed very ergonomically. So, you know, everything's at a fingertips reach, you know, whether it be the sun shades that you're going to drop up and down, um, you know, your Tuscany light switch, which you can turn on or off, all your, your air conditioning controls, um, you know, your, your GPS integrated uh, dash radio. Um, is, is right here, you know, navigation's already set on, on it. So, you know, you're gonna be able to know exactly where you're going. Um, it's, it's set up and, and designed to, uh, to make sure that you're gonna be able to, to find whatever necessary destination. Um, the, uh, the smart wheel, uh, you have your windshield wiper controls. You can thank those trucks for, for letting you pass with this big 450 horsepower engine with uh, 1,250 pound feet of torque. Um, also your, uh, you have your cruise control settings right here, adjustable foot pedals. So not only does this have six-way power on the driver's chair to make sure you're getting that set perfectly, but you can also work with the foot pedals to make sure they're positioned in the right area. We've also done a really good job with visibility. I mean, it was it was so important to us that not only could you see well out the windshield, but your gauges, you know, when it comes to where they're positioned with the steering wheel, which can tilt and telescope, uh, but they're in the right area. The integrated light bar that Freightliner, you know, which will show you your, your, your fuel 
fuel economies, you know, the different systems checks that go along with the engine. Um, the gauges are bright white, so they you can really see what's going on. You you know, I have a tendency to speed, so you know, I, I can keep myself a little bit reserved uh, by by knowing exactly where I'm at and everything's very visible. Um, you know, moving along, um, all your your braking switches are very easy. You know, as I mentioned, this has a two stage compression brake, or you know, if it's the variable geometry uh, turbocharger, which is on the 40 footer, that's easy to get at. You know, your air horn in terms of turning that on, service lights, docking lights, etc. your toggle for your, for your ILB, and then move along to the side. You can see that, and, and this is very underrated, Donnie, but your, your transmission control is right at your hip pocket. So, you know, as you're traveling in mountains, when you're going down long grades, it's always recommended that you manually downshift to really be able to keep that coach contained um, and working along with your, your engine brake. And, and it, you know, you can see what gear you're in. It's very easy to see. Um, you know, you have very easy access to your, your, your downshifting. Um, so yeah, it's just all right here and available for you. And, and um, you know, really, I think we've, we've raised the bar when it comes to driver comfort in our motorhomes. It's truly just like the rest of the coach. It's just a real testament to you and your engineers. The design's incredible, and the, and the ride and the drive of the coach. Uh, I was in it yesterday uh, before we brought it in, took it out for a drive. I mean, it was just absolutely incredible, uh, incredibly quiet. The ride and the drive. I mean, obviously from the IFS standpoint, but I mean the power, the handling, the performance. Uh, it was it was tremendous. A really impressive coach to drive. Well, and you know everybody thinks well if you know, Tiffin and Winnebago and, you know, some of these other competitors of ours, you know, they're all built on the same chassis that all these chassis are going to ride exactly the same. That's not the truth because, you know, we order the chassis from Freightliner the way we want it. So if we want bigger tires and independent front suspension, that's one part. But then it's also the execution once you get the chassis because they come in as frame rails and we need to build a platform. And our platform is second to none. I mean, it is, is tried and true. You know, we use the Bosch proving grounds to make sure that, you know, all the different things can be adjusted to perfect and, and allow that box of the motorhome to blend with the chassis in the best way possible. And I'll put our coach up against anybody else in the marketplace when it comes to ride and drive quality, as well as I think we have the quietest motorhome on the road as well. But, you know, don't take my word for it. I mean, you know, like, like Donnie, um, come out and drive one here at Motorhome Specialist because, you know, whether it's a 40, a 42, a 44, or a 45, they have them all right here for you to see. We do really have a pretty large selection out there. Yes, you do. Largest in the country. Well, hey, Adam, uh, truly everybody here at Motorhome Specialist and, uh, and our family appreciates you taking the time to be away from yours to come down and, and help educate, you know, hopefully our future customers and uh, teach us all so much about this really exciting and incredible motor coach you guys have built. Thanks a lot. Tony, thanks for the opportunity. And folks, if you have any additional questions about the new Tuscany or any of our new Thor motor coaches here available at Motorhome Specialist, please feel free to contact one of our representatives at 1-800-335-6054. Or of course, you can visit us anytime at mhsrv.com. Thanks so much for watching, and we all look forward to hearing from you soon. But before you buy a new Tuscany, or any new motorhome for that matter, be sure to check the MSRP, or the manufacturer's suggested retail price. Unfortunately, other dealers prefer playing numbers games and price their new units at the full manufacturer's suggested retail price. Then they discount the MSRP a meager 10 to 15% or less, and many unsuspecting RV buyers end up paying too much for their new motorhome. They also use the heavily inflated price of the MSRP to overallow on trade-ins and trick other RV owners into thinking that they are getting more for their trade-in than they really are. Some dealers even alter the manufacturer's window stickers to reflect a higher price or remove the window sticker altogether and create their own version of retail pricing even though this is against United States federal law. Without knowing the true manufacturer's suggested price, you cannot be sure of the true percentage discount you are receiving from the dealership. Always demand a copy of the MSRP and only do business with dealers who prominently display not only the MSRP, but an upfront percentage discounted sale price without having to ask for it. If you have any doubt about the MSRP, call the manufacturer 
If you have any doubt about your sale price, call Motor Home Specialist. Thor Motor Coach's commitment to excellence in manufacturing has also recently been taken to new heights. Thor has implemented the Gold Star inspection process that requires every motorhome to pass a more than 200 point inspection and road test before leaving the factory. The final inspection process also includes a computer alignment and every unit is rain booth tested to detect any possible leak before shipping. You'll also enjoy the comfort in knowing that your new motorhome is part of Thor's Rapid Response Parts Program that overnight express ships parts when they are required for the use of the coach or present a safety concern. And I know you'll find Thor's new concierge connection to be a refreshing take on what true customer relations and factory support is supposed to be. For complete details on these incredible new programs from Thor Motor Coach, visit ThorMotorCoach.com. Motorhome Specialist is not only the number one volume selling motorhome dealer in the world, but also the number one Thor Motor Coach dealer in the world. Offering the most diverse selection of new and used motorhomes you'll find anywhere. With prices ranging from about $10,000 to over $2 million and every price point in between. At Motorhome Specialist, you'll never find our new motorhomes priced at MSRP. Instead, you'll find an upfront discounted sale price that you can easily compare with other products and dealerships across the country. No matter if you're veteran RVers or first time buyers, just looking for quality information and a dealership that will treat you fairly. Motorhome Specialist Upfront Pricing will take the games, gimmicks, and anxiety about paying too much out of the sales process. Because at Motorhome Specialist, we believe everyone deserves the same low price. It is this business principle that has allowed Motorhome Specialist to grow from being a small, pre-owned only dealership in 1999 to the industry leader, selling approximately 40% of all new motorhomes sold in Texas. We offer over 60 different models of new motorhomes from 10 of the most well-known manufacturers in the industry. Each are committed to producing quality products and offer something distinctly different in style and function. And Thor Motor Coach is no exception. Thor Industries was founded in 1980. In 1986, they were listed on the New York Stock Exchange. And in 2004, they were named a Forbes prestigious Platinum 400 list of companies. They are the world's largest manufacturer of recreational vehicles and a major builder of the world's most recognized name in towable RVs. Thor's motorized divisions include two of the most popular names in recreational vehicles, Four Winds International and Damon Motor Coach. Recently, Four Winds and Damon merged to become Thor Motor Coach, the number one retail selling motorhome manufacturer in North America, with an amazing lineup of 20 of the most well-known models of luxury motorhomes in the industry, with sizes and price points sure to fit most any RV lifestyle. So call 1-800-335-6054 or visit mhsrv.com for our upfront and everyday low sale price that has made us the number one volume selling dealership in the world. And take the family in style on your next big RV adventure and a Thor Motor Coach from Motorhome Specialist. Why pay more? Why settle for less? If you think that this is the right unit for you and your family, please contact a representative from Motorhome Specialist. We have easy financing with up to 20 year terms available and year round sale prices on our entire inventory. We sell RVs to people literally all over the world. If you're flying in, we will pick you up at the airport and bring you to your new RV. Each new RV goes through a rigorous service checklist twice before your arrival. Once here, you will be greeted by a service tech and shown how everything works and that everything is working properly on your new unit. You will also have an RV starter kit that includes a new water hose, sewer hose, chemicals, and much more. Thanks for watching our video. We all look forward to hearing from you soon.